Hi, I'm Pastor Mira, and this is Sermon in Three Minutes. This past Sunday, we talked about Thanksgiving and looked at the scripture from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19, with the lepers who see Jesus as he's walking between Samaria and Galilee. A leper in those days was any person with a skin condition, and they were forced to shout, unclean, unclean, whenever they walked on the road for fear that their disease could be contaminated and could actually transfer to the person they were passing. Once or if they were ever able to get rid of their disease, they then had to go to the priest in the temple who would determine if they were clean before they could return to their families. For a diagnosis of being a leper meant you had to leave your family and community and live out in the desert, often in small bands all alone. Well, these are the folks who Jesus, as he was walking between Samaria and Galilee, he encounters lepers shouting on the road, unclean, unclean. He sees them and says to them that you are clean after they ask for mercy. The lepers then run off, presumably to the priest, to know if they're clean. But one turns back. He turns back. He praises God, knowing that God had worked through this man, Jesus, and falls at the feet of Jesus, thanking him. We then learn that the one that turned back, the leper, was a Samaritan, a person who was never really supposed to know God, who was considered a foreigner and an outcast. Jesus asks him, and I wish we knew the tone, but Jesus says, we're not 10 healed. Where are the other nine? He then looks at the man and says, get up and go, for your faith has made you well. A person who was never supposed to believe in God knew the moment that he was healed, he had to pause his life and turn back and give praise and thanks to God and to this man, Jesus, because he had been healed. Two points we pulled out of that sermon. First, what do you see and what do you do when you see others in need? For Jesus, he stopped what he was doing and simply said to them, you are healed, go to see the priests. Are we able to see our coworkers and friends who are struggling? Maybe family who are in pain? The challenge this week, with Thanksgiving especially, but really every day, is to see those around us with the eyes of Jesus. The second note we talked about a little bit was, your faith has made you well. That sounds great if you've been healed, if you are recovering from an accident, but for those who have serious illness, may have prayed for years and months, and they have not been healed. Well, in this situation, the lepers were actually healed before they even said a prayer before they even said anything to Jesus. You see, your faith has made you well doesn't always mean it's about physical healing. For God was listening to them and they were healed of faith, a faith that brought them eternal life. There's so much more to this story, but that's really what we unpacked. And we talked about the lifesaver challenge. I encourage the congregation to take a lifesaver and put it in their mouths. And throughout this week, let the lifesaver melt in your mouth while you thank God for everything you've been given. For your faith has made you well. It's about giving thanks and it's about giving and living thanks each and every day through the ups and the downs. That's a brief summary. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for tuning in.